Hello everybody, this is Mario Kaiba. Not here to screw the rules for once. Though it's like my fourth attempt now at recording. Past three, either muted the audio or forgot something. I'm here for a somewhat charitable cause. The Gulbra... I am here to kind of show the Ghoul Brothers home for Wayward Monsters fundraiser page. Yes, there will be a link in the description. It's the hunt I was working at for the past couple years. As Horus the Hammer Wielding Hell, Billy. But I'm not sure if you're going to see Horus theory this year or not, but I am here because we're in trouble. We'll start with the please read me for more details. Hey guys and ghouls, help us continue to scare you to death. Thanks for stopping by and taking a look. Despite a career as a special FX makeup artist in Hollywood, David Barton, aka Boss Man as I call him, spent over 13 years getting his professional haunted house attraction, Ghoul Brothers, built. It was literal blood, sweat, and tears of David and many people along the way who wanted a chance to be part of something cool that entertains people. Many years passed along the way, we never, and we never knew for sure if the attraction would ever get open, but it finally opened its creaky doors in 2017. Man, I was there. Quick break from the reading. I actually tried to get a jab at the haunted pool house and laboratory, but few years before that, but they wouldn't hire me because I couldn't scream like a victim. And my cat. Come here, Miso. Say hi, Miso. Miso cute. Yes, you are. But no, you're not getting a date with buckets. Anyway. <clears throat> and I was really happy that David, stiff cat, <laughs> helped me be a part of his dream. Oh, come on, kitty. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Me so. I love you, but come on, girl. But continuing on, this year, 2019, a couple of trusted people who were part of the haunted house in different ways took actions that severely harmed the attraction of which made opening our doors extremely difficult. Now, now, I actually know who those people were, though I'm not saying anything, not giving names. I'm not sure how many details I'm allowed to give, but basically, they kind of walked in the property when Boss Man went there, took some of their stuff back because they wanted to start their own haunt this season, and took a few things that weren't theirs. Not getting into details other than that. Anyway, continuing. Not wanting to beg, we put together an absolutely killer t-shirt gift that can be yours for a donated cash gift of $25 or more. And this amount also covers shipping to the continuous... I can't pronounce that word. Dang it, boss man. It'd been easier if you would say continental. 48 United States. Orders outside of the 48 country... Oh, come on! States may require an extra donation to cover the mailing costs, of which we would contact you later. Of course, straight-up donations are also accepted in any denomination you desire to give. Just let us know if you want a t-shirt or not. We're offering shirts in the standard, small, medium, large, extra-large, and double X sizes. Directions for gift payment... At this point, we are taking PayPal gifts. Go to PayPal and click on Send Money to Friends or Family. Our PayPal account is under the email address MonsterShow at Hotmail. Hotmail, <laughs> come on! Can't say much because I still use a Hotmail address, but... Come on, boss. <laughs> Hotmail's pretty extinct. Please add your name to the and address to where you want your shirt shipped in to... Uh, 
I messed that up. Basically, add your name, address to where you want your ship your ship to and what size you want in small, medium, large, extra large, or double X. T-shirt gifts are ma available in multiples to relative 25 gifts. However, if you choose to donate more and do not want additional T-shirts, please indicate such. We will be figuring out how many shirts to order based on sizes needed, so this may take several weeks depending on how well this goes. Thank you. Please share with your friends. But yeah, this is the frickin' t-shirt you can get. Which I think's pretty badass. I'm probably gonna see if I can donate $25 to the cause just to get one of those. But yeah. I actually, when Bossman told me about this a few months back, tried to convince him to start a GoFundMe. Of course, like me, in a few senses, Boss Man is kind of a boomer. He's an awesome dude, still a boomer. So, I'm not even sure if what's going on with that. Probably kind of hard to give the t-shirt gifts through GoFundMe anyway. And I'm not even sure if it was about Patreon or not. But, yep. I am not gonna beg you guys for anything. I'm just gonna ask if you could help. Because Ghoul Brothers is an awesome place. Good work environment. No hierarchies, and when it comes to being scared, we're pretty good. <laughs> we'll give you a frightfully good evening. Okay, it's hard when I'm not trying to actually do that voice as loud as possible. But yeah, if you're in the Akron area this Halloween season, be sure to check out Ghoul Brothers. The website is scream13.com. And trust me, it's worth it if you're not in the area or in Ohio at all. But if you're passing through, we get visitors from out of state come by during the Halloween season. Usually have help from a cosplayer group known as. Umbrella Core Z. Trust me, those guys are awesome. Occasionally have a lot of other guest scarers. But overall, even if you're not planning on coming and you really just want a really cool t shirt, just please help donate. And I am not really good at these kind of videos. But still, this is Mario Kaiba, and I'll be seeing you some other time. Screw the rules. I should really get green hair. <laughs>